Yeah. See you, Joe. Yeah. Ooh, it is a cold morning. <sighs> this is the start of daylight savings and it was hard to get up today. The alarm was set for five and then I think it got up at 5.30. It was just, it was difficult. That's technically 4.30. Yeah, I know, that's why it was fucking difficult, but we've got a big day today. So we are on the way to gym because uh, Tom, one of the young guys from our, that's coming on our Bali trip, is in the area and he wanted to train. I was like, done. So we're doing chess today. I'm gonna tear him some new titties, which would be good. Uh, and then I have to go back to the studio to record my audiobook. So last week, I think that last week was the first time I started the recording of that, and that was like insane. Okay, well you hop, hop in and then I'll come and get the mic set up. Okay, cool. We roll back on mistakes. So if you make a mistake, yep. or you don't like something, we just go back and I roll back and you hear it play back. So you wear your headphones, you can hear me on them, you can hear yourself yep. play back. So you, you'll get the hang of that. That's so crazy, I can hear myself. Yeah, you can hear yourself all right. You'll hear yourself all day. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to have a conversation about how you can make a better life for yourself. All right, so a little plug for my book. So for those who don't know, I wrote Good Influence to be pretty much the handbook of just trying to improve your life. So on a physical sense, getting the best physique, and a mental sense, making those changes sustainable and improving your health and happiness. And also a little bit about social media for people who want to grow their social. So guys, this comes out December 1st, and please, if you could pre-order now using the link below, it would really help me. So if you think maybe I'll do this or it could be a good gift, please pre-order. USA, UK, Australia, got you covered, link is below. I'm also going to yell if that's uh, okay. Okay. I used to have this trick when I was training in the gym. During my hardest, most painful reps, I would reflect on an old Arnold Schwarzenegger quote. He said, Get to the chopper! But not that one. The one I'd reflect on is this. The last three or four reps is what makes the muscle grow. <clears throat> Excuse me. The last three or four reps is what makes the muscle grow. This area of pain divides the champion from someone else who is not a champion. Funnily enough, Arnie was right in regards to muscle growth and painful reps. Now these are known as... It's good. You got into it a bit. Yeah. How many pages was that? 52. Good job. Sounds so cool. It's so hard. It helps so much. He's had a big workout today. Too Actually, it feels like it. Yeah, so at this stage, six days. So we better pick up a... We can pick it up a bit tomorrow. It's a pretty crazy process. So I'll bring you guys along today. I might give you a little sneak peek, exclusive of the uh, of reading the book. Shout out to AHP Labs too for getting me up in the morning. The real MVP. Two scoops of pride uh, a day keeps the doctor away. Honestly, <laughs> it's just, it's a fact that they don't really have that in like general medical practices, but they should. If you go to your doctors and you say, look, I'm just feeling a bit under the weather, what should I do? He'll say, uh, look, uh, two scoops of pride and you'll never see me again. But you know, they just don't, they don't do that, it's weird. If they did, they'd also tell you to use Zac 10. That's a fact. Well, I was going to give it like a day in the life for you guys, like a usual, typical day in the life, but it's a bit different because of this audiobook recording today, I have to pre-read my own book because when I'm like talking through it and actually reading it out loud, it needs to be fresh in my head. Otherwise, I can't really tell the story properly and read it. It's, it's weird. So yeah, I've got to read my own book. Like I've read this shit so many times now and it's still awesome because it's the best book you guys will ever read, so you have to buy it now. <laughs> hey mate. Oh yeah. You too, man. Welcome. He's very tall. Oh my god. He's tall as. How tall is that? Eight? Eight foot? <laughs> Just for like perspective. <laughs> You just gotta always shoot like me like this <laughs> close to the camera and he's like way back there. Yeah. Yeah, about the same size. I'll ask him. How tall do you reckon he is? 6'3". He looks 7'3". He's like, okay mate, nice to meet you. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm only like 6'3", I think. Oh, oh three, I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I said that. Like eight foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the biggest compliment. I got, it, some, I got it in the elevator the other day. Yeah. This bloke's like, you're like 6'8", eh? I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm 6'8". I get all the time. Yeah. I get all the time as well. Uh, keep it chat. Good. I was hoping you didn't say legs. To <laughs> I, I never say legs. That's yeah, a come, on, come on. Uh, what, <laughs> so funny. what do you usually do for legs? I mean... <laughs> 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 no, we're doing legs. Go, do legs. 
I need to spot them, I'll let you know just to get a couple little ones. Towards the end, but I will let you die before I touch them. <laughs> Good. So we won't. Man, a real bad man, ask Carlos. I don't need guns and bark off. I just love God and bar off. Man, a real bad man, ask G. I got my wife and C. And that's a good life for me. Man, a real bad Yeah, back then it was two M's. I said mortgages and then Merrigan. Uh, nowadays it's two M's. I mean millions that I'm managing. Real bad man, don't move with savages. Bro, bro, still brought that cannon in. Uh, I say, bro, if you use it, rise and shoot to protect your family. Real bad man, don't cause no casualties. Uh, had the reason gradually. Had a thought that taught like... So big thing we're focusing on here is, which is a bit of a change, is like a really extended pause at the bottom and then just slowly squeezing out instead of like the fast paced jerk. How to feel that first that set, just gone. Fucking awesome. Get that pause. Do it a little slower at the bottom. Focus, pause, slow out of here. Even slower. Good. Good. That's better. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I feel <laughs> yeah, straight up. Oh you God. see like at the end of the set there, you, it starts to like do this, then the range gets to like that, then this. So if, if I wanted to make it harder, I could have like spotted the whole way through yeah. to increase like the, the tension, but I mean your chest is just right. Yeah, <laughs> like, like beyond that, it's kind of a bit of overkill. Um, but we'll do like probably three working sets here total. Yeah. And then move on. Get one more. Do a little help. Yep. Up, 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 up. Nice. Ah. Woo. We're pretty much making the chest work 100%. Like, more than it ever has in a while, probably. Because you have very oh, strong yeah. shoulders and triceps. Yeah. So, like, it's very easy for you to just press quite oh, strong. Yeah, easy. Yeah. But now it's something entirely just different. It's, yeah, it's completely fucked it's already. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Let's keep it on. You got it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's it. That's as hard as I am right now. <laughs> a lot of upper because yeah. you're getting a, just in a stretch position of like this because yeah. like your elbows are so high now yeah. when you stretch back it's that's huge yeah, yeah, upper yeah. and then when you come up that's even more upper yeah 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 the, the higher the low is more of a it's like an easier way of doing a fly so okay, yeah. you're like it's a it's kind of like a mechanical drop set and you start with the hard one yeah. and then you go to the easy one it just is like another squeeze yeah right. um so typically it's probably getting more lower yeah okay, because yeah. like it's going from high to low yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. But to me, it's just like more chest. Yeah, it's just a whole <laughs> more chest, chest exercise. Yeah, yeah. But it's also, I'm, I'm fatigued, I can't do any more of these, but I can do a few more of these. Yeah. yeah. Same dropping the weight, basically, yeah, doing squeeze. Right. Try it. The chest is starting to fatigue heaps, that's why at that point it starts to get a bit shaky. But he's staying with it, which is good. Be careful, this is rounding a little bit. Angle your elbows outwards. Yeah, like that. That's it, just do 
one squeeze. That's better. Harder. Fucking much harder. <laughs> Where am I going? Should we tell them about what happened yesterday? Okay, but after you keep driving, you're gonna be late and stress yourself out. Okay, so yesterday, we were in the city for a, um, like a book presentation thing for Good Influence. So we were just, I was just there, just chatting about the book to some, there's booksellers at this uh, little conference thing. And anyway, walking to lunch, and some guy Yelled starts out. charging towards us on the street. Yelling. You use this Is he freaked? And I got jolted because he's like you don't expect a guy to scream at you at the top of his lungs, middle of the street, walking towards you. I'm like, oh, fuck. And I just like went you to You were walk going to just him. go around him, but he was charging. There's no way I'm walking past that I mean, man. He had like a lot of meth in his system. Like there actually would be more meth in his system than not in his system. I don't know, maybe you like my sunnies. Maybe he doesn't like designer sunnies. <laughs> he just hates designer sunnies, that's why. Or he doesn't like is. He could have been jealous that you were holding my hand and he could have wanted to hold it, my hand. That's true. That's why I'll leave it at that. I'll finish with that. That's my best, uh, that's my best theory. Yeah. We're on our way to the recording studio. Uh, he's just going to eat a breakfast and uh, we'll see you guys there. Chapter 20. The answer to stubborn fat. When I was younger, I was convinced that I had been born without abs. I remember being 14, grabbing my belly fat and like any victim in a disappointing shark movie, wondering what might be lurking beneath. Thankfully, it turned out to be a set of abdominal muscles after all. I'd just never seen them before. My whole life, I've had a genetic predisposition to storing fat around my midsection. Most males can attest to this. Now, this is really funny because Ian, this guy, he's like, he is a sound genius. And it's really funny because as I'm recording this stuff, he is often like interjecting and saying, do this again, do that again, say it this way, say it that way. And it's so helpful because it's just a gun. And then every now and then he just like stops me and says, hey, I tried that cold shower thing. And he's actually like, he's the first person to read the book. So, or to listen to the book. So he's like stopping and telling me that he actually tried to implement some things. I quite like that that empty feeling. I quite oh, like it's good. It. It's very focused. You get dialed sort of, in as well. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Give me a couple of days. I'm going to do the ice shower. By the time by the time we work on Friday, I reckon I'll have done one. Yeah, I reckon you need to get at least two minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, I I come do, on. You can do two minutes. Two minutes. Thank you. So I thought this is cool. If this book is already appealing to the first listener, then I was pretty proud. Occasionally, one might hit a plateau in weight loss and need additional protocols. I'll cover these here for those interested. This is so good. We have calamari with rice and salad. Aioli here. Yum. Yum. Barramundi, and this is coming for you as well. Watch out. Oh, Watch awesome. Ya. Thank you. That's Thanks. Yours. Wait. Also mine. I mean, this is all for me. It's a bit ridiculous. But first meal of the day. You can do that. You can do it. Easy. I'm gonna feel human after this. That's what you've got. What is it? Is um mixed fish and I th mixed salad. seafood maybe. Mixed seafood and, and Greek salad. We've got calamari, prawns, fish. Oh prawns! Yum! I love prawns. That's a lot of food.